friends, welcome to Leo Padio. It's Coco here today. In the last video, we made a clutch box and today we're going to make a variation of it, a rustic variation. And this is the variation. If you want to know how I made this, then keep on watching. To make this clutch, you'll need clutch frame, rubber sheet, lining fabric, glue, elastic, fabric marker, needle and thread, M seal, or might you put your chalk powder in a dough form if you're in states, Canada or elsewhere. For the material of decoration, you can use anything you like. For example, beads, sequins, flowers, pearls, whatever. It's completely up to you depending upon what you want to create out of it. Register the markings on the box through clutch frame so you know till which point you have to apply the M seal. Now line the inner part of the box with rubber sheet and lining fabric. I've kept the boxes ready. I've done a video on that before so I'm going to link it here for you as well as in the info box. Now take M seal, mix both parts equally until they form a black sticky dough and start applying it on the outer side of the box. I would suggest you wear gloves if you can, as you can see my hands are all black now. Although I feel I can't wear gloves while working, it seems like a hurdle to me. But please, at least you try wearing them and save your hands if you can. You see, you can make a variety of designs. Here are some examples. I'm going to use these. Let's start placing them on the box. Once you're happy with the positioning, press them onto the box and M seal will make sure that they stick to it. I've kept the sides ready for the box and linked the previous video for you in which I showed how to do that. Now register the marks on the box through frame, glue the sides on the markings and paste elasticated sides to it. Insert the box into the metal frame making sure the sides are inside and stuck properly. Now take the other box and glue the markings. Paste the sides to it and insert the box into the metal frame. To finish it up, cover the areas left with M seal. Later on, you can clean the metal frame with wet cloth. Last but not the least, attach the chain and voila, you're ready with the clutch. That wasn't very difficult, was it? I know, I know, you'll be like, it's such a hassle to collect all the material from where to get the clutch frames. Don't worry, I'm going to link everything down below for you. You can go to the website and find many DIY clutch kits. Easy? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe for more such videos and I'll see you next week. Bye!